Here's how I check electrolytic capacitors, quick check in a TV chassis I'm working on. Have a full range PC speaker with some good loud full range sound going to it. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to use the electrolytic capacitors as if they were a crossover network. So the lower the value, the less bass they will pass. So we just have two clip leads here. And we're going to put the capacitors in series with the speaker. So I'm just going to start with clipping this on the chassis. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our three electrolytic cans there, which are here on the bottom. And there is a bad capacitor in this set that I'm going to show. Just going to go around. We got three here. So we can tell that's a good capacitor, it's just a lower value because it doesn't pass much bass. Good capacitor, it's just a little bit higher of a value. Good capacitor, even higher of a value. We got a bunch down here. That one's good. That one's good. good. Now this will not tell you if they're shorted, only if they are not open or really lossy. Do this one over here. Good. Good. Okay. Next one we'll check is this blue one here. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to get to the bad one here on the chroma board. You can see that one right there. That's the bad one, but we'll check this little gray one right here. So we look on the bottom right there, C411. We just go straight across. You can hear that how that that's a low value. That one filters out most of the bass, but it should still sound like clean high sharp highs. So this one up here, which is the bigger gray one, the other side is the bad one and I'll let you hear it here. It's a 5 microfarad. You hear how weak that is? Now I have a 4.7 here. I'm going to bridge my I'm going to bridge my leads. the difference there? That's a bad electrolytic. <laughs> 